Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name is Jessica. Today's cleaning motivation is going to be Monday through Thursday, what I cleaned for the week every day. I intentionally had planned on doing Friday as well. And you guys, I completely forgot to film Friday. Friday was kind of a busy day and I didn't even realize that I forgot to film Friday until I put this footage in to edit it and then I realized. So I am sorry about that, but this has four days of cleaning motivation for you guys to show you kind of what I do each day of the week. And so it should be pretty motivating. Please bear with me because I think I have bronchitis. My voice is going in and out. By the end of the day, I don't even have a voice, but I'm going to do my very best to get through this. But if you do need cleaning motivation, which you probably do if you clicked on this video, then I really think that this one will get you motivated and maybe give you some ideas of different things to clean around your house or maybe just a different product to use or a different way to do things or you know, whatever it might do to help you. But I know watching cleaning videos definitely help to motivate me. It's kind of this odd thing. Like you think about it, you think about telling somebody like, I watched some girl clean her house and it gets me motivated to clean mine. And it sounds really strange, but it actually does work. It's kind of strange and miraculous all at the same time. So anyways, if you are here just to hang out with me, then definitely stay tuned because this is going to be a very long video where I've got 51 minutes of cleaning motivation. So if you can stay that long, then you are a true hero. All right, this is Monday. And so Monday, I usually will change our bedding. So I'm going to go ahead and strip the bed and clean my bedroom, do my dusting and my vacuuming and put my new clean sheets on. Now, I think it was my last video. I had talked about these. They're not white. They're like cream sheets. And I was really scared of them because I tend to stay away from white sheets and I've actually really been liking them. So, so far so good, but I'm going to go ahead and throw those into the washing machine so that I can get those going and dry and put away and ready for next week when I change my sheets again. But these are the laundry products that I use and love. And I use the Intense Fresh of the Purcell, the Blue Fabuloso, and I change up my scent beads really. Um, I like a lot of them. Honestly, I don't think there's any that I don't like. And then because these sheets are like a cream off white color, I am going to go ahead and throw in some OxyClean with those just to make sure they get extra clean. And then I'm going to go ahead and put our new sheets on the bed and spray a little bit of freshener on them because they had been in the closet for a couple weeks. So they lose their like you know, how they smell good. They lose that after a while, but I'm going to go ahead and get them bed remade and get this room out of the way. I like to start in here on Mondays, but if you are new, I would love to have you subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button. I like using this Caldrea, uh, what is it, like linen spray. I used to get it from Grove Collaborative, but you can get it from Amazon, Grove Collaborative, maybe other places. Those are the only places I know. I think as of lately, I've been ordering them from Amazon. And I love the Tangelo Palm Frond, which is such a weird name, and the Sea Salt Neroli and... The sweet pea is really good. They may even have some new scents I haven't looked in a while, but it's like more of a high-end smelling fragrance. It's like not not that I'm knocking Febreze because I like Febreze and use it, but it just smells like more expensive because probably because it is more expensive, <laughs> but it just smells really good. as like a little treat. And I'm also turning on my air purifier. I like to turn those on high while I'm cleaning just because I am stirring up a lot of dust by changing the bedding and dusting and vacuuming. So I always run those on high when I'm cleaning. And then of course I wanted to go ahead and fold a load of laundry really quickly to get that out of the way. <laughs> And I wanted to show you a before of the vacuum canister empty, just so you can see how it's just so satisfying to me to see how much I pull out of the carpet. So I'm going to vacuum my room and then at the end, I'm going to show you how much I got out of my carpet, which is crazy. It's so gross. Like our next house 
I do not want to have carpet in the bedrooms. Now, my, I'm probably going to have to fight with my husband on that one because he is so old-fashioned and he loves carpet. Like, it honestly, when we were a lot younger, he thought having hardwoods in the living room was horrible, but now he gets it. But right now, he currently thinks carpet should be in the bedroom. And that's okay if you do. I have for years, but I don't want it in my next house. I don't want any carpet in the house at all. It's because I'm the one that cleans the house and I'm the one who has to keep it clean and I'm the one who sees what comes out of it. I feel like I should be the one that gets to make that decision and we can put rugs down if it's comfort that he's worried about his feet hitting the cold floor. I can take care of that because a rug you can replace after a few years. It's not that big of a deal, but carpet is very expensive and not very easy to replace. So moving on, this is the guest room. My sister was with us over spring break. So I'm going to go ahead and remake this bed. Now I do not wash my sheets after I have a guest because I will just make the bed back up or a lot of times my guests make the bed back up. And then when I know that I'm about to have guests again, I will wash them. So I'll strip everything off and wash them because I like them to be freshly washed for my guest, if that makes sense. So it may be like not the norm. Maybe most people strip them right away and wash them, but I don't. That's just the way I see it. So moving on to my bathroom, as you can see, it's quite a mess. I'm trying to show you some close-ups to really show you that it actually is dirty. It gets pretty chaotic in here because I'm usually trying to hurry up and get ready. I've got my son in here. He's playing with his toys. And of course, my husband's getting ready for work in the morning and we get ready and then we're out of this room so it doesn't really stay clean. And honestly, I hate cleaning the bathroom. I don't know. Like, I can't remember if I've always hated cleaning the bathroom because I feel like I have, maybe, I don't know, but I really dread cleaning this bathroom and I think it's because it's so big, which I love how big it is, but it, I also hate it because I have to clean it and it's a lot, but I'm just kind of doing like not a super deep clean today. I'm just basically tidying up and wiping everything down really good. And I am using this microban cleaner in the fresh scent. I love the way it smells and it cleans really well and it claims to keep killing germs for 24 hours. So I don't know if it actually does that, but it makes me feel better about using the product. So if you are a new viewer of mine, again, my name is Jessica. I have three kids. I have a 16-year-old daughter, a 9-year-old daughter, and a 3-year-old son. He was a huge surprise during COVID. Um, a lot of you were here for that, um, but we just love him to death, and he has definitely completed our family. But anyways, I do have those three kids, and then I have two doggies, Bailey and Tucker. Tucker's my baby. He's the little white dog. You'll probably see him a lot in my videos because he follows me everywhere. And then Bailey is my oldest daughter's dog. You'll see her here and there, but she's normally either outside with her mom in the basement or laying around somewhere in the background and just not on camera because she's not bonded to me. So she doesn't follow me everywhere. But, and then we also have a little black kitty and you also will see her probably in different scenes. I think she is in definitely in one scene in the kitchen. Um, it might actually be in my behind the scenes. I can't remember, but um, we have a kitty. Uh, her name is Zoe, but we always call her Miss Kitty. I feel like I call her name, her actual name Zoe, her vet name, because when we take her to the vet, she's Zoe, but at home we call her Miss Kitty. <laughs> but yeah, I have those three animals, three children, and a husband. We've been married for going on 21 years in June, and um, we live in Tennessee. My husband is in the military and yeah, I've been doing YouTube videos here for like, I don't know, six, seven years, something like that. And this is our second home that I've had on YouTube. Our first home that I started our my YouTube journey and actually was destroyed by the recent tornado, which is very, very sad. Um, so I actually have a few videos back. I do have a video on that showing that house and everything, but it is completely gone now what was left of it, they tore down, which is really, really sad. But if you're new and you want to go back several years and see that house, a lot of people really love that house. Um, or if you're not new and you just missed that that happened, it did happen. And I do have a video on it. Um, so yeah, that's really sad. But anyhow, we've been in this house for what, four and a half years, something like that. And 
yeah, I just basically do cleaning videos. Sometimes I'll do like cooking, I'll do hauls. And I actually do have a haul in this video from Temu and it is Temu, not Timu. It's controversial, but you'll hear me say Temu. So anyways, I have a Temu haul in this video, which is really fun. So if you were curious about Temu and you want to see like is it really good stuff or not? Or if you are a fan, either way, you'll probably enjoy that haul. So stay tuned for that. But I'm going to go ahead and get started here in my son's room. Again, this is still Monday and I did my room and my bathroom. And now I'm going to go ahead and change his sheets and clean up his room. I was letting him pick which sheets he wanted. He picked the dinosaur ones. And a little bit later, you will see, I actually have an Amazon haul as well. I forgot about that, but I ordered him some new sheets for his bed. And I got him like these construction ones because he absolutely loves vehicles and he loves those sheets so much. And I got him some matching pillowcases. If you ain't find your thing yet, I got the If you've been with me for a while, you know that I normally post on Tuesdays and you're seeing this video maybe on Sunday. I don't know. I posted it on a Sunday. I don't know what day you're watching it, but you may have noticed that I posted this on a day that I don't normally post videos, but I just figured I would give it a shot a different day because Tuesdays haven't really been working that great for me. I don't know if it's just the algorithm or like, I don't know what's going on, but I just decided that it would be a good time to try another day. So if you're watching this on Sunday, then thank you so much for watching. And if you're watching it later in the week, that's fine too. I don't care. Um, I, as long, a lot of you will like comment and say, I'm so sorry. I'm just not getting to this. You do not need to apologize to me about that at all. I'm just happy that anybody watches my videos. Um, but yeah, I, that is why I post it on a Sunday. We're going to see how it goes. I don't know if I'm going to stay with Sundays where I'm just kind of experimenting right now. Right now, I feel like my life is chaos and I'm so busy that sometimes it's hard for me to stick to that like super strict schedule of like always uploading on Tuesday. So I may be experimenting for a little while. We'll see. But anyhow, we're going to move on now to switching out some laundry because Monday is a heavy laundry day. I do laundry several days during the week, but I feel like Monday is a heavy laundry day because I'm trying to get like from the last time that I had the heavy laundry day and like over the weekend, that laundry and everything just kind of resetting for the week. Monday is typically my reset day and then also Friday. So Monday I will reset my house, do all that you're seeing here. I'll also order groceries and um, obviously put those up and meal plan and all of that. And then I will, um, you know, do some things throughout the week you will see in this video. And then on Friday, I typically not really reset the house, I guess. I don't know what we would call that. What would we call that? Kind of resetting, but like I kind of get it all back straightened up and tidy for the weekend ahead. That way on the weekend, I don't really have to worry about doing much. I'll still tidy a little bit on the weekend, but I don't really do much. And I like going into the weekend with like most of it being done, if that makes sense. So I like to start my week by getting it all done kind of doing a little things here and there throughout the week, Friday, kind of like freshen up everything that I've done and then just enjoy my weekend. So let me know in the comments, what is your reset day? I think a lot of people reset on Sundays, but I always reset on Mondays. All right, welcome to Tuesday. What are we doing? Laundry. <laughs> laundry is never ending, seriously. So I'm putting my son's clean laundry into his little basket and I will be folding that here in just a little bit. And I'm obviously cleaning out the lint filter because if you're not doing that, then I have found out the hard way your clothes will not get dry. So I'm cleaning that out. And then as you can see, these are the sheets from yesterday. I'm just now getting to them. I was going to go ahead and fold those and put those up. And then I'm starting my daughter's laundry. So I just dump it all in. I found that wallet in her hamper. I find so much stuff in her bed, in her hamper. She drives me crazy. But 
Um, I just dump all of our clothes in. I do not sort colors. I used to do that for years. And then I saw someone on YouTube not do it. And I was like, oh my gosh, it, it's just the weirdest thing because I thought like you had to do that because that's the way my mom taught me. And then I saw somebody not do it. Like she was breaking all of the rules and I was like, wow, that's wild. I'm going to do it. <laughs> and I've never turned back since then. Now I will say we have a lot of like, um, like colored items. Like we don't do a lot of brights and whites. Well, I take that back. We do more brights and darks than we do whites. We don't do a lot of whites. If we did have a lot of whites, I would separate them. So don't take my advice if you have whites. But because we have more like darker colors and bright colors, I'd feel comfortable washing them together. However, if I do have something white, I'll typically pull that out and wash it separate. But I steer clear of buying white clothing for the most part. So if you're still sorting colors and you see this video and you see me dump it all in and you have a panic attack, do not worry. I've been doing that for years and I've had zero issues and it has changed my life and saved me so much time. Kinsley had her egg chair here turned around. She made it into a little fort. It was so cute. The other day I walked past her room and I looked in there and I didn't see her, but I knew she was in there. And I like lifted up the corner of the blanket and peeked in there and she was in there with her iPad and she was messaging her, not messaging, but like video calling with her friend. And she had made that fort in there. And so she had all her little toys in there. And as you can see, she had been eating some cookies. And here is the proof of that. So I had cookie crumbs. I was vacuuming up. But do your kids have kids messenger? Because if they don't, it's really cool. And if you have Facebook, then you have Facebook messenger. Well, they um, have a kids messenger that you can monitor so I can see, I have to approve of anyone that she adds or talks to. I can see everything in there. I can see any pictures that are shared in between um, her and her contacts. And basically I have full control over it, but she's able to talk to her friends and she absolutely loves it because my Kinsley is such a social butterfly. My oldest is not at all, but Kinsley loves friends and loves socializing and loves talking to people. So she will come straight home from school, have a snack and go up and call one of her friends and they will play like Minecraft together. Like they'll be on the call, but they'll like put it in the background and they'll both be on the game playing or like Roblox or something like that. And I'll hear them talking like, I'm in the room, I'm over there, come like do what they're doing in the game. And it's so cute. But I'll also see them doing like showing each other their rooms and giving house tours and showing like their favorite stuffed animals. I don't know. It's just really cute. And she loves talking to her friends on there. So if you have younger children and you didn't know about Kids Messenger, um, there is a such thing and it's really cool. And I highly recommend it. So again, as you saw, I am turning on her air purifier on high and then I will put it on a timer so that it runs for like four to eight hours just because like I said, I'm stirring everything up. And I really do not enjoy cleaning her room because she has so much stuff, but she loves all her stuff. But I do think it is time to go in and declutter. We definitely need to go through her books and donate a bunch of those. But she loves her stuffed animals and her books and just all her things. And I feel like, and this is a lesson. I was thinking about this as I was looking at, back at this footage. So you saw me clean this room, right? Like I dusted everything down. I put new bedding on. I vacuumed the floors. And you're going to see this after clip here. And it still doesn't look clean. Or at least to me, it doesn't. You can let me know if you disagree. But to me, it still looks so cluttered and not satisfying. And it's because there's so much stuff, so much clutter. So let that be a lesson for you that if you do have a lot of clutter, which I trust me, I've been there. I am somebody who used to have a lot of clutter and I'm getting less and less. I still have it in some places, but I'm trying to do less and less because I'm realizing that it's so much easier to clean when you have less stuff and that it looks more clean when you have less stuff. So as an example, Kinsley's room, she has so much stuff. And although it is technically clean, it's cluttered, which makes it not look or feel clean, which to me is not relaxing. It might be to you. And if that's your thing, that's totally fine. But for me, 
it's not relaxing. And if you are feeling that way in your own space, like I feel like I clean and clean and it still doesn't look clean, maybe take a look around and see if it's because you have a lot of things and maybe you can get rid of some of those things. As I am vacuuming up this bathroom, I wanted to tell you guys, so I have two Dyson. I'm blessed enough to have two because I had actually purchased one with my own money and then I got to work with Dyson a few years ago and they sent me one. So I'm very blessed in, to have two of them and I have two, well, I actually have a three-story house. So it is very nice because I keep one upstairs and one downstairs. However, one of mine, and I don't know if it's the one I bought or the one they sent me, I honestly cannot remember, but it died recently. Like the battery just won't charge anymore. And so it's, it's such an amazing vacuum. Like the Dyson cordless vacuum is so good, but it is so expensive. So it is an investment. If you buy it, like you're going to want to keep it for years. And I did, I had it for a very long time, but the battery died. So anyhow, I really wanted to keep that vacuum rather than replace it because it's such a good vacuum. However, I was looking for a new battery and a new battery is over a hundred dollars just for the battery. And you can nowadays buy cordless vacuums for around a hundred, hundred fifty dollars So I have ditched that idea. I will no longer be buying a battery for my Dyson. Okay, so now it is Wednesday and um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up some rooms downstairs, the living room, which is basically Hank's toy room. Um, I'm gonna clean that and I'm gonna clean my floors because they were filthy, filthy. And I'm also switching out his little bin here because I do his toys in bins and we bring them out um, periodically. We switch them out, which I feel like helps reduce the amount of toys that I have, but also it makes it fun for him because it's like getting brand new toys because he kind of forgets, you know, that he had them and they're like new for him. He really loves doing this and I highly recommend it if you have little children to do this. I've been doing it for about a year and a half now and it is amazing. Has it been a year and a half or has it been a year? I think it's been a year and a half, you guys. It's crazy how fast time goes. But anyhow, um, honestly, this room, as soon as I'm done cleaning it, it looks like this again. Like literally this, by the time that it was nighttime on this day, the room looked exactly like that again. <laughs> but I, I, I'm trying, you know, sometimes, honestly, I don't clean the living room as much anymore because of that. I clean it and then it immediately is like that because you know, he wants to be there with mommy and daddy and play. He doesn't want to play. Which I don't, he's three. I don't really want him up in his room upstairs by himself anyways. So I'm fine with it. And I love watching him play. It's so cute to watch him pretend play and like his little people make them talk and he makes his cars talk and he's like, come on guys, let's go. And it's just so adorable. So I really don't mind it, but anyhow, all that to be, um, just to say that I'm cleaning it today. <laughs> it didn't need to be vacuumed and just wiped down and then, you know, he can drag his toys back out. But I'm just wiping down my coffee tables with my Branch Basics cleaner, which I love. It's non-toxic. It's fragrance-free, all of the good things. So if you do want a non-toxic cleaning product, I highly recommend Branch Basics. I will try very hard to remember to link it, but if I forget um, and you are interested, let me know and I'll send you the link. You can get a little starter kit and just try the multi-purpose cleaner if you want, but they also sell um, different things, but anyhow, it's really, really great. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put a new Scentsy in my Scentsy warmer here. And then I'm using my Eureka Corded Vacuum, which I love this vacuum. It's very budget friendly and super powerful. Um, I think it's like $130. If you do need an upright vacuum, love, love, love this one. And it has an extra long cord, which Eureka is like really good about that. And has a lot of extra attachments that you can use for like dusting your blinds or anything like crevices, corners, upholstery, stairs, all of the things. Really love that vacuum. And I've had it for over a year and this section is still amazing. Also, okay, you see me using my Eureka Vac Mop and you see all that foam. I was thinking like, what is going on? Why is it doing this? It has never done this. You guys, I forgot to put the filter in. 
So I realized that right after this clip and I did go put the filter in and then magically the foam stopped happening. So, you know, do as I say, not as I do. But I was like, why is it doing this? I don't understand. And then I went to dump out the dirty water and realized that I didn't have the filter in there. So that's why. But this is my Eureka Vac Mop. Vac mop. It's also very budget friendly and I love, love, love a good Vac Mop. I've showed several on my channel here. Um, and there's actually a new one by Narwhal that I know is going to be really, really expensive, but I really want to try it because I love Narwhal products. And, um, yeah, but anyways, anyways, the Eureka one, very budget friendly, really love it. It vacuums and mops at the same time. All right. So I just got these packages. I figured we'll take a break from cleaning and open them. As you can see, I have a Temu package an Amazon package and another Amazon package. So let's open the Amazon ones first. I think I remember what I ordered from Amazon, but I don't remember what I ordered from Timu because it's been so long. I think he's going to be really excited. I got him some new sheets and it's like a little construction set. So it has like construction signs and trucks on it and it came with this like neon yellow one too and then I think that this is actually the pillowcases that match let's see here yeah so this is the little pillowcase set that matches those sheets so he's gonna be really excited come here Hanky look come here I got you some sheets and pillowcases for your bed. What do you think? That's your pillowcase. Yeah. And this is your sheets. Oh. You like them? They're big. Yeah, I'm going to wash them and put them on your bed for you, okay? Oh, yeah. Will you go put them on the stairs for me? And then the other thing I got in here is not really fun, but I need it. So I've been talking about that. How I need a queen mattress protector for the guest bed. So. Where is that? It's open. It's Where just a mattress protector. Can, can you set that on the stairs, please? Okay. Now let's open the Tamu package and see what I got because I honestly don't remember everything that I ordered it's because orange. it's been like two weeks. This is orange. That's right. It is orange. Yeah. Okay. What's in that? This, I think, is a purse. Hello. Well, it's like... Two parcels? I don't remember ordering two. Okay, so this is some cleaning gloves. I'm hoping they're good quality because they're really cute. Okay, they actually are. I don't know if you can tell they stink, but look, they have daisies at the top and it's like elastic so it fits around your arm so water doesn't get down in there. Hold on, let's try it. So I always get water. Oh, and they're like lined with material on the inside, so they're really soft. They're not that latex feeling. Okay, we'll have to try them out. They feel really good on my hands, very thick and nice. Okay, they had a bunch of different colors in these too. This is a little, um, they had a couple deals at the end where I could get stuff for like a dollar. This is like a little eyeliner aid. You can use it for your bottom lashes to put mascara on or to do eyeliner. And then this is my little keychain thing for my keys. Let's ch check it out. It's cute. Oh my gosh. It's so cute and it's such good quality. I don't know if you guys can tell that on camera. These are like that really soft material, but it's stretchy so I can wear it on, on my wrist. I love it. And then this is the purse that I ordered. This bag I thought was the color and that was scaring me, but it's not. <laughs> Oh my goodness, look at that. It's one of those ones that you can kind of wear like, um, what do you call it? Uh, like a, what do you call it, Maddie? Like a side bag? I forget what you call it on the side. I know the word and I can't think of it. But it has this pocket and, uh-oh, that's not a good sign. Oh, I want to go. There we go. Use your ear. A big pocket there. And then this is the main pocket and it has a zipper in there and then it has a pouch here and then look at the strap. Oh, and it has a pocket back here too. Okay. What am I doing wrong, honey? Oh, I forgot I ordered this first too. 
Yeah, how'd you do that? Okay, I'm not gonna show your face. Okay, so Maddie's gonna model this for us. Can you turn around? Let me see the back too. So that's how it goes across your back and then turn back around. And then that's what it looks like from the front. I love it. How did you do that? You're gonna have to teach me. Oh my gosh, look at this one. This one feels really nice quality too. Has a zipper in the back. And then I think the strap's in there. At least my husband is. There's the strap. Oh, that's really cute. Isn't it? I love the color. Kind of like. I like the brown details on the side. Yeah, me too. Kind of reminds me of like Dooney and Burke. Then you've got your pocket here. you got a zipper in there. And then you've got like a little slot there. And then, is that it? Yeah. That is adorable. I love that. Crossbody. That's the word I was looking for earlier. <laughs> I was looking for the word crossbody. Okay, that is super cute. And it feels amazing. I don't know if you can tell the quality. I'm trying to get up close so you can really see. I don't know if it'll focus. Oh yeah, the last thing I ordered was this to clean underneath my couches. It's like an extendable flat duster that goes underneath furniture. So this is washable and you just screw the handle on here like that. And it does get longer, obviously. And does this bend or what? Let's see, let's go dust under something. All right, let's say I wanted to dust under here. I could just go like that. All right, I was listening back to some of this voiceover, and I do apologize. My voice is horrible. I hope that you can stick with me. I My sister thinks I have bronchitis. I don't know what's going on, but by the end of the day, I don't even have a voice. Um, I have to whisper, and my throat hurts really bad. I think it's pollen because pollen's really high right now, but I'm not sure. But I do not feel very well, as you can tell. But moving on from the living room and from getting those packages – I am using my vac mop to do my front room floors, which there's so many floors. My downstairs is just covered in hardwood floors, which I love, but it takes a lot of work to clean them. But I love the vac mop because it does both at the same time and it saves me so, so, so much time. And there's the water. It's disgusting, but that's, that's how dirty my floors were. All right. Now we are on Thursday and I am Marco Poloing my sister. If you don't know what Marco Polo is, it's an app where you can like video chat with your friends, but it's not live. So it's like, think of like texting, but with a video. So like they can watch you live and you can watch them live, but I don't know. I don't know how to explain Marco Polo. But it's fun. And I feel like it helps you like connect more because like we live in a day where you do a lot of texting and you can't really like you can't read tone and I don't know. I don't know. But anyhow, you get to see them and it's better. So I was Marco Poloing with my sister and I was getting my rolls set out. And then I also put a roast in the crock pot for dinner that night because we did have guests coming. Later this day, they sprung it on me that morning at, I think, 7 a.m. that they were going to come stay. So I was preparing for that. Um, but I made a roast with my butcher box roast. It was so good. See, there's Kitty. I knew she was in here somewhere. I was showing her to my sister. But um, I made the butcher box roast. Oh, so good. I shared butcher box in my last video. Love, love, love. I'm about to make my own order um, coming up soon because we're starting to run lower on the meats. And I definitely want more because there's a huge difference in the flavor and the texture, all of it. It's so, so good. So if you do want to know about like where to get good meat, check out last week's video. Actually, it's like two weeks ago now because I normally upload on Tuesdays, but this is on Sunday. So it's like a week and a half ago. All right. I just took y'all off the tripod. This is real life. I have ADHD severely. And this is like what happens when I get to cleaning on a day where I have it really bad. Oh, hi, honey. Hi, you just in your hut? Oh, you getting jealous? Are you getting jealous? Hi, little darling. Hi. So 
what had happened was I was washing dishes, I got hot, so I took my sweater off. So I brought my sweater and I hung it in the dining room. And when I went in the dining room, I realized that the floor was dirty. So then I was like, well, I wanna run my vac mop um, to clean the floor while I'm cleaning the kitchen. Well, then I was like, but I've gotta empty out the dustbin and put fresh water in it. So here we are. Yeah, it was time. That's pretty gross. And then I didn't empty this out the last time I used it, so I don't even want to know. Disgusting. I actually want to leave that in there. But I am, whoa, that's full. Never mind. I was going to put new water in there, but it's already full. I'm just going to empty this out. I really need to clean that out, and I really need to clean this whole thing. It's like way overdue, but, you know, I've got so much to do. I still need to clean that. But I am going to put new mop pads on here because these need to be thrown in the washer. Pretty nasty. Okay, new mop pads. It's going in. It's going to clean the floor for me. So what I'm going to do is actually just have it... Yeah, I know I need to do that. I know. I know. Quit telling me. I need to order a new filter, I think. I don't think I have one. Okay, I lied. I, saw, I told them I completed it and I didn't. Okay, so I'm just going to have it clean the front rooms for now so it's not in here. I want it to do the Frio mode because that vacuums and mops until it doesn't sense dirt anymore. So pretty much just like decides for me. So I'm gonna have it do that. So it's gonna clean the front room for me while I finish cleaning the kitchen. Also look, we started getting ants yesterday, or actually two days ago, and I bought this ant trap at Walmart. Look, they're still crawling up the, they're everywhere. They always come in this window every year. But anyways, these tarot ant baits work amazing. That's not even 24 hours, and it's caught all of those ants. But there's still so many of them. All right, so I didn't have this yet when I was filming these clips, but after I was done filming these clips, I had to go run some errands, and so I did a Walmart pickup, and I got the new Dawn Power Wash in the Apple Mango Tango scent. Somebody on here commented on my last video and told me about it, so thank you very much because, yes, it smells so good. It's my favorite one, so they do have the Gain one, the Apple Scented one. And I think there's the light one that's like a pear scent and then the original and the apple mango tango smells so good. I got it at Walmart, so I don't know where else you could find it. I tried Dollar General. They didn't have it, but I love it. It's my favorite. I love Dawn Power Wash anyways, but I love the apple mango tango scent. So I'm putting my stove grates in there and I just sprayed them down with the Dawn Power Wash to let that soak for a minute while I start on the stove top here. And then I went ahead and filled that up with hot water and then I added in a dishwasher tablet and I let that soak while I finished cleaning the stove top. And then I went back and scrubbed them with my scrub mommy and you will see those gloves that I got from Tamu. I used them to do that. So I love them. They're great. I highly recommend them. Now that I've used them, I can honestly say they're great. Have you ever thought about you? Don't know why I keep on doing what I'm told to do. When the rules are made up by someone we never knew. Baby, wipe your tears and hear me out. We don't need someone to feel all right. Let's do the streets all the And then now I'm sprinkling in some of this comment bleach in my sink. I'm going to let that soak for a little bit while I clean up some other areas. And then I will go back and clean the sink. I'm just using the rest of my granite gold uh, 
granite cleaner. I had just enough to get through this and then I was able to throw it away, but I was just trying to use it up. I really like this granite cleaner, but I also like a lot of others as well. I think I picked this up at like Lowe's. It smells good and it leaves it very shiny. But anyhow, now I'm going to go clean my sink. Now that my counters are clean and I'm using that scrub mommy again. And then I'm going to scrub it with water in that comment. And then I have to go back in with dish soap because if you don't, this leaves like a white dusty film. It's like a whole process. And then once I'm done with that, I put a little bit of this grapefruit oil in my garbage disposal just to keep it fresh. It makes my kitchen smell fresh as well. I'm out of my garbage disposal cleaner. It's so hard to find and I don't know why. <laughs> I can never find it in store. I end up having to order it online and then I forget. So, But I really do like the little packs you throw in the garbage disposal and they foam up. So this week I used uh, baking soda and vinegar because that also works, but it's not as convenient, you know? So why do they make it so difficult? I do not know. But anyhow, I like to put the oil in there because I think it smells good. And then the next time you run water, it like smells really good. So that's just a little tip from me. And I got that grapefruit oil from Amazon. And then I'm just using my Indus to shine my stainless steel. I've been doing this for years. It's not on the bottle that you can use it this way, but I found out that you can. And I love the way Indus smells. I love it for my wood furniture and I love the way that it shines my stainless steel. So I use it on there. Sometimes I use the Wayman stainless steel cleaner too, but I like using this because it smells really good. I hate shining stainless steel. It's one of my least favorite things to do. It's such a workout. Like you really have to use some elbow grease and buff and buff and buff. And then your kids come home from school and immediately mess it up with their fingerprints. So whoever designed stainless steel, uh, I have some questions for you. Like, do you have kids? Because I don't think you do. And like, do you even use your kitchen at all? Because I don't think you do. Because literally it gets so dirty immediately. I do not like it. I do not. The next house I have, I would love to have the new white appliances. Ah, I know like white you think like outdated, but oh, it's so pretty. They're bringing the white back and I like it because I feel like it won't show anything. I don't know. Do you have the white? Do you have the new white um, appliances? Does it show anything? Are they easier to keep clean? Please let me know because I really have my heart set on that. And if I find out that they're really hard to keep clean, I'm going to be crushed. Let me know if you do have the new pretty, pretty, pretty white Um appliances because I think that they will be easier to keep clean than stainless steel. All right, I was getting ready to clean the floors and I realized I needed to clean the dog mat and I ended up moving it out of here as well because I put this little um, dish here, like food bowl and water bowl for Tucker because I keep their food separate because Tucker's a meanie butt and he is kind of aggressive and I just, it's not a good thing. So Tucker's my little dog. So I keep them separated when I feed them and I've been keeping it there. However, Bailey May, yes, I'm talking about you. She's laying next to me. She will come up and drink all of his water out of his bowl five times a day. And she, because she's a bigger dog, she gets it everywhere, all over. And it's driving me insane. So after this, I moved it because it was not worth it. Now. I am cleaning my half bath. And as you can see, my toilet paper holder is still broken because somebody, we will not mention names because I don't know who, nobody will admit to it, broke it. And nobody will admit that they broke it. I know it wasn't me. And I know it wasn't Hank. And that's all I know. There's three other people it could have been and they will not come forward. It has been broken for over a year. Uh, it needs to obviously have the drywall needs to be patched and it's like a whole ordeal. I bet you it won't get fixed. I bet you. I bet you. It will not get fixed until we put this house on the market and then my husband will fix it. Guaranteed. You want to stay tuned? Stay tuned because I promise you that's what will happen. I've been asking him to fix it 
for over a year now. And there it is. So we just hang the toilet paper roll on the other half that's still connected to the wall. You know, it works, whatever. I hate it. It drives me nuts. It falls off there all the time. But it doesn't seem to bother anybody else. And you know what? I go in there to use the bathroom and I'm left without toilet paper all of the time. And then I'm stranded on the pot saying, somebody come help me (laughs) and bring me some toilet paper. Why is it? I feel like for women, why is it that we are always the ones that get caught with no toilet paper? Because the last person that comes in and uses the last piece doesn't think like, ooh, maybe I should replace this for the next person that comes in. And the next person that comes in is always mom. Why is that? We don't need someone to feel all right. All right, and then this is my Eureka cordless vacuum. It's a budget-friendly vacuum, and I keep this one downstairs since my Dyson that I had down here died on me. And I do really like this one. It's not as powerful, so like it's not going to do great on carpet, but for hard floors, it works wonderful, and I love that it has a light, and I love that it lays flat so I can get under things. But I decided when I was in here, I wanted to clean the baseboards and the walls too. Sometimes this happens to me when I get cleaning. I'm like, oh, and I go crazy a little bit, and that happened this time. So we're scrubbing the walls today. And then for the floors, since it's such a small area in here, I usually just either get on my hands and knees and wipe it with a rag or I decided because I had this, I would just use it and it worked. So after that, I obviously threw it in the washing machine, but I'm going to go ahead and use that scrub mommy to clean my baseboards and then I can retire this scrub mommy now that she's been used in the bathroom. And then I am going to go ahead in my front rooms and dust. I did dust my dining room table too, but I don't think that I filmed that. But I am dusting this little entryway table because it was pretty dusty and it needed it. I really should have cleaned this on the day that I did the floors in here, but I forgot, you know. So it happens. And then I'm just running my back mop under there since I just threw a bunch of dust on the floor. This might be it. You can't give out on me yet. You gotta finish this hole and then you can be done forever. Come on now. You gotta finish this hole and then you can be done. Snap down in there. What am I gonna do? Oh, it usually just snaps right in. Okay, we're just gonna have to make it work. Oh my God, why does this stuff always happen to me? Oh, I got it, I had it on backwards. What are you? What are you? Hanky. I know, but what were you saying? I'm a... I'm a... Cowboy? Were you saying that? Yeah. Say it. I'm a cowboy. <laughs> Say, I'm a cowboy, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I'll 
be that. We gotta go figure that out. Hi friends, how are you today? Happy New Year! I know, yay! Wow, we made it to the next level. stress of everything I've done that wrong that day. Am I forgetting anything? And what do I need to do the next day? And I toss and turn and toss and turn. You Actually, neither. Um, it's in Shelbyville, Kentucky. Um, and the reason why I'm going there is... Late all night and we drank to free All of my boys and me 